However, I feel like sharing with you guys a secret of the Dells. If you look to the right of Sarrington's Mill, you'll see that big green and yellow umbrella. Underneath that, there's a sign that says Ravina Bay Bar and Grill. If you go to have dinner there at 4.30 or 8.30, you can watch the Tommy Bartlett Show for free. Don't tell anybody. And if you do say something, tell them Chris sent you. Alright everybody, are you ready to see how fast this duck can really go? If you with hats on, you might want to turn them around, hold on to them, because I am not jumping in to get them, okay? Alright, on the count of three, and I do need your help with this countdown. Let's try this again. No, you're you're right. Let's try this again. Three, two, one. There you have it, everybody. Five miles an hour. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Now, for those of you that want to go a little bit faster in a duck, to 32. Impressive. That's downhill with the wind. It'll be 31, there's no wind. All right, if you look off to the left, you're gonna see a nice little beat. Yeah, that joke used to be funny. Now it's just sadly true. <laughs> Off to our right on the far shoreline, you're gonna see three tunnels. To the right of those tunnels. Back in 1924, a gentleman by the name of W.J. Newman came up to the Wisconsin Dells because he was looking for an area where he could vacation, maybe an area where he could escape from Illinois. Well, when he got here, well, he kind of fell in love with the area, so he decided to stay. And when he decided to stay, he bought a small piece of stock market. When the stock market crashed, Mr. Newman lost pretty much everything. However, he didn't lose the area that we know as Lake Delton, but he was in a little bit of trouble with the IRS. He owed them roughly $1.8 million. Now, a few of you may recall that eight years ago, there was a minor incident out here on Lake Delton. We received about four. I'll take care of the pedals. That's the break. You don't want to press that. Okay, that's the clutch. You don't want to press that one either. I'll take care. Are you ready? Let's go that way. Well, let the photo op find you. <laughs> go, go. Are we ready now? Here we go. Let's go that way. landing now being that it's a Friday I have a very special way that I like to leave the lake as well I generally
and let you guys enjoy this beautiful scenery for just a moment. Are you done looking at me? Thank you. Billy, are you done? Not like a drive in the river. All right, I found a deep spot. Welcome to the Wisconsin River, everybody. Now, as we begin our journey today, I do have to ask one very important question. Um, how many of you here on the duck today are staying just tons of rain in northern Wisconsin? And well, it's finally reached the Dells, so the water kind of went up about three feet overnight. As you see, we're floating right nice down river here. Now, as you can see, there are four cave openings. This is the first one. Um, they all lead to one large central chamber that's big enough to park this duck in. However, as you can see from that opening, I haven't quite been able to get the duck through. But if you look below that cave opening, you'll see a bunch of sticks, twigs, and branches. That is the beginning of a beaver dam. We've been watching the beaver for the last week or so start building that. All right, get those cameras ready, everybody. I've got a great photo opportunity for you. As we go by the second cave opening, you'll be able to see all the way through to the other side, and you'll notice it makes the shape of a bell. So get ready, wait for it, wait for it. It's coming into view right about now. Did you get it? Are you sure? Oh man. Let's go back. As we come around, you will see the third cave opening. Now, inside of Lone Rock, it's just like the Lost Canyon. It's about 15 to 20 degrees colder than the outside air. Now, because of that, the Native Americans used it like a refrigerator. They would store their wheat, their grain, their meat, their corn, their deer hides, even their frozen pizzas right inside Lone Rock. They like frozen pizzas too. duck up with the fourth cave opening you're gonna to need to look out the back of the duck and you'll see that the bell shape is gone what you will see is maybe an upside down heart maybe a Hershey's kiss and that's coming into view right about now what do you guys think Hershey's kiss Hershey's kiss yeah. now you guys want to know the best part about that do I need to go the other way so you can get another picture I'll be happy to okay well you guys want to know the best part about that when you're back home from your vacation you can tell all of your friends you looked out the rear end of a duck. Now, I've got a new joke I want to try out on you guys, so I'd like to get a thumbs up or thumbs down after this one, okay? Please be fair. Bell was named by one man, Mr. H.H. H. Bennett, Henry Hamilton Bennett. Now, back in the early 1900s, late 1800s, Mr. Bennett went up and down the river in a canoe and he took pictures of all the rock formations here in the Dells. Now he showed those pictures to the state of Wisconsin. They said, you know, we can't pay you for what you did, but as a reward, we're gonna let you uh, name everything you took a picture of. He agreed to that and he named Lone Rock back there and our next formation, the Twin Ink Stands. Now, Mr. Bennett named that one the Twin Ink Stands because he thought it looked like one of those old fashioned Notice that it appears that the trees are growing right out of the rock. You say, well, Todd, what about this tree over here that looks like it fell down? It didn't. It broke off. The roots are still intact. Sugar Bowl Island because he thought it looked like a giant bowl of sugar. Not really sure about that one. However, I have been up and down this river 487 times. As we 
go between the light from those fires would attract insects, bugs, mosquitoes, things like that. That in turn would attract the fish to come. Now, I've just spotted something pretty unique here in the Dells. It's not something that we see that often. You might want to get those cameras ready. If you look out the left side of the dock, you will actually see two green plastic lawn chairs. There's a problem. Actually, if you see these small holes in the rock right here where that light green color is, those are actually bird caves. Inside of there's a bunch of small families of birds. Now, my favorite bird in the entire Wisconsin Dells, there's one over there. Well, it's called the Venezuelan Cliff and Bank Swallow. Now, the reason that bird is my favorite is because that small little bird, about this big, every... Now, if I was a funny guy, which you know I'm not, you've heard my jokes, I would simply say they go up. However, after 473, 437 tours up and down this river, I can honestly tell you, they haven't gone anywhere. They're still there. Thank you. I lose count once in a while. All right, let's see how close we can get, maybe like Titanic close to the rock. All right, not that close. Now, as you look at the rock here, you will notice that they are made up of individual layers. Those layers are called dalles. Now, dalle actually means flat slab of rock. So I guess that's actually pretty accurate. However, over the years, they changed the word dalle into the word dells. And when they changed dalle into dells, they actually changed the definition of the word. So the real definition of the dells is very simply the land of overpriced gift shops and water parks. Mosquito, had to get it. Where's my bird? There it is, my bird. Okay. Off to our left, you're going to see a man-made rock formation. It was put there by the U.S. Geologic Survey. And that is our stream flow gauging station. Now that tells us how much water is passing this point every minute of the day. However, if you read the sign, it does not say stream flow gauging station. It says stream flow gagging station. They had one job to use spell check. And they look on the edge of the rock over there, you'll see a wild beer can. probably figured out by now that I am from Wisconsin because all of my jokes today have been very, very... It's not D-U-C-K. It's a W. It's a Government spell. In five minutes, you know nothing in the Dells. It's free good time. My name is Ryan. These are our duck lips, our house, or significant other. Roll over hill. Our driver here today, if we have any...